What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk and we're back with another StreamYard video. I know it's been a while, <laughs> took a little break. We had to cover some Ecamm stuff, some Restream stuff, big news in both of those camps. But this week we're talking about StreamYard. I've heard from a number of you talking about playing music in the background. And I know that there are ways to do this with Black Hole and Loopback. I'm gonna show you a way you can do that with no additional software, with no additional applications. Let's figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent and I teach small businesses, entrepreneurs, and faith-based entities how to simplify live video mechanics to shine a floodlight on their brand. And in this video, we're talking about background music for StreamYard with no additional software or platforms required. Let's get into it. So here we are on the StreamYard main screen and I'm just gonna go ahead and enter uh, the test room that I always have created here. One thing I wanna show you as we enter is some settings. Um, here, if I go to cam mic, um, you'll see, of course, my, my camera selected. I've got my microphone and my speakers selected here and you can see that I'm getting audio through that uh, on the system right here. But you'll also notice that echo cancellation is turned off and stereo audio is turned on. And, and you'll also see that I'm wearing headphones, guys. <laughs> so I wanna make this clear. If you're playing background music, whether you're using loopback, black hole, whatever, um, you found a way to pipe music in through your audio board. If you have a USB audio interface and you're playing a piano or you have a guitar and you're playing music in, you need to make sure everybody's wearing headphones, turn off echo cancellation, and turn on stereo audio. Like I, for me, for my church, when I when we're doing broadcasts, we have all of that audio, you know, keys, drummer, bass player, vocalist, all of that audio coming into a USB audio interface and it comes into the system. You want to make sure that echo cancellation is turned off and that you have your stereo audio checked. That's going to give you the good, clean audio that you need for those types of things. And for this little hack that I'm showing you today, this is also something that's really good to do. Make sure you have headphones, turn off echo cancellation, make sure stereo audio is turned on. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to my name and bam, we're back in the system. I've got uh, my, my machine behind me added to the system. I'm gonna just drop both of these on screen, swap them around real quick, uh, give myself these frames, and I'm gonna throw up some lower thirds. All of that is completely unnecessary. I apologize for wasting your time. But anyway, so this is how I would normally do my, my stream, do, normally do my broadcast. Um, here, I'm gonna just hit the plus sign to go to video file. And so, so right here, this is the secret sauce. It's gonna be a short video today, folks. Um, we're gonna play a video file that has music in it in the background, and that'll serve as our background music for the stream. This is a hack. I know this isn't necessarily the most ideal way to do this, um, but I would recommend if, if, if this works for you, if this is something, you know, you don't wanna use any other software or platforms to do this, this is one of the ways that will work for you. And I'm gonna show you how, but one of the things I would suggest is take a playlist, uh, record it, you know, uh, as a video. Drop it on your timeline and whatever your video editor is. I use WeVideo, I use Premiere, I use Final Cut. Drop your music on that timeline, put an image on there. That's just kind of a placeholder to, to actually as a visual and then just uh, export that as an MP4 file. Because of course, here in the system, we can only play MOVs and MP4s as video files. And so I'm gonna grab a file from my church. Um, here's here's one here from uh, from my church, and you can see that that has popped in on the on the on the screen here. And this is like a 10, 11 minute uh, video, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click play on it, and 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 you'll you'll you're gonna add add to stream, and you'll see. Okay, clearly now this video is playing, and it is playing for everybody to see. And so you're wondering, but that's not background music, Kirk. I understand. Let me just drop my music, my, my audio down. And you know how to do this because StreamYard has given us these con these controls. Hopefully you're hearing the music as well. So this is in the background. That I would say that that level is, a, is about right to be in the background. Um, what I want you to know is that these three layouts here that you're that I'm, I'm moving my mouse through, these three layouts are for video or for any kind of share screen item. These are the layouts that are for those three. But what I want you to know 
is that anything outside of those three layouts does not include the video. Don't believe me? There we go. Now I'm, I'm on screen with my guest. Video, the, the audio from that video is still playing, but you can't see it. If you use this layout, if you use this layout, if you stay with the layouts that don't include shared video or shared anything, that video, that audio is gonna be audible, it's gonna be heard by your audience, but it is not going to disturb what people are seeing. So you can preload that, pause it, let it sit there in the background, and then as you're ready to go for your live stream, you've played your intro video, done your countdown clock, and now you've got a guest on screen. It's like, man, I wanna have some background music. Maybe you'll have some background music that's audio only, you know, no vocals. But I mean, I'm just, like I said, I'm just dropping that back, dropping that audio down a little bit. I have control over it right here on screen, which is which is very convenient. StreamYard has really hooked us up in this regard. And um, I can remove this video and add this video back. I, I can remove this video and add this video back. It doesn't, none of it is having an effect on that, on that, on that audio that is being played in the background. And so you can have that audio playing and set the tone, set the mood. I mean, everybody's been asking, how can I do, you know, background audio just using the system? Well, here's one way you could do that. It is crude. This is definitely a hack, but I wanted to get this out there. I wanted to share this with you and I hope that it's helpful. And there you go, right? Good, clean audio. We could turn that up just a little bit. I mean, Ebony is really killing this song. Yeah, 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 come fill my life, all right. And, and so there you have it, there you have it. Good music, good clean audio. We're, we've got, let me put my lower thirds back up. We've got a fully produced scene here. I've got my, my guest, I'm on screen myself. I've got background music playing. Background music just using the StreamYard system. No other additional software or additional platforms required. So there you have it. Um, what, what did you think? I mean, I, I hope that this is something that's going to be useful for you. Again, just wanted to get this quick video out here. I've been hearing a lot of folks talking about, man, how can I play background music? How can I play background music? I don't want to use loopback. And I've got a video coming soon where we're going to go over loopback, um, and using it for StreamYard and then what are the optimal settings? So look, be on the lookout for that, but let me know in the comments if this was helpful, if this is something you think you can use. I wanna say uh, another little note here in terms of, if you are gonna use local video playback, the, this share video setting that StreamYard has given us in the system, you do need to have a very good upload speed. I wanna make sure that I say that. A lot of people have been saying, hey, I've been trying out the local video playback feature and it doesn't work very well. Your upload speed needs to be good. My, my recommendation, make sure you're plugged in. Ethernet cable plugged into the router, do a speed test, make sure you're getting really good upload speeds and you're you're not gonna have any problem playing that audio that way. Uh, the, the other thing that's really good about playing the audio and not the video is that you, sometimes your video may freeze but the audio will still continue to go if your upload speed's not that great. And so this is still an option for you even if the local video playback thing isn't an option for you to actually play a video into your live stream. Um, again, very interested to hear what your feedback is. Very interested for you guys to engage with me in the comments. Let me know what do you think about this hack. Uh, something that just kind of came to me and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But man, listen, you know we're on the road to 5,000. We've crossed the 2,500 mark, so we've, we're, we've already got halfway, which is phenomenal. And we attribute that mostly to you guys and your support of what we're doing here on this channel, how it all works. We want you to take that journey with us. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and consider membership. Buymeacoffee.com slash Kirk R. Nugent is where we're doing membership. We have several value adds. We have a new series coming up that's starting tomorrow, that's starting on Monday, I should say, uh, for convos and collabs. And we're excited about that. It's gonna be a little bit more laid back format where we're just having these conversations. And then we're hoping to do a co collaborative video between myself and the other creator that we'll have on the show. We're, it's gonna be focused solely on live streaming, solely on live stream mechanics. Um, and, and we're excited about be, being able to bring that new live series to you. So 
consider joining us, consider subscribing, um, hit that like button, smash the bell so that you know when we have new content and when we go live, because we will be going live every Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for Convos and Collabs. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, somewhere in this new hack that I'm showing you how to do um, background audio in StreamYard with no other features, no other platforms added, we're hoping that you were able to figure out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video.